story for the king of the creed for its conversion. Oh, wa 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 wa. The once was a king. Oh, he would decree religious exile over the country. Whoever wanted to remain in the country would have to convert, otherwise, he would be expelled from the country. There were some who abandoned all their belongings and wealth and left the country as paupers in order to maintain their faith and remain Jews. Others, though, could not bear to part with their material wealth and remain living as Oyanusim in secrecy. They observed Jewish law, but they weren't able to live as Jews. In public, actually, this king died and his son became king. The son began to rule with a firm hand, conquering other country. He was also very wise, since the new king ruled over the royal ministers with an av of iron hand. They plotted against him, agreeing to assassinate him and his entire family. Among these ministers was one of the was one of the Anusim. He thought, "Why did I become a convert in the first place? Because I didn't want to give up my wealth." Never, well, well, if the country will be thrown into anarchy, all citizens will prey upon each other. For it is impossible for a country to be without a king. So, well, well, the minister decided to go and secretly inform the king. He told the king that his ministers were plotting against him. The king investigated the matter and discovered that it was true. So he sta- stationed guards, and on the night they had planned to assassinate him. They were caught, tried, and punished accordingly. The king then said to the minister who was, in a- was uh, uh, on those forced convert, secret Jew, how can I honor you for saving me and my family? Appoint you a minister, you are already a minister. Give you money, you are right, already have money. Just tell me what honor to bestow, and I will do it for you. And the honor censored, but will you really do as I act? Oh, but will you really do as I ask? Certainly, yeah, 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 the king answered. Swear to me by your crown and your kingdom, said the honest. Oh, yeah, and the king swore, the honor said. Oh, yeah, my biggest honor would be to be able to be a Jew in public, to put on top, blah, 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 listen to feeling in public. The king was extremely enraged since no one was allowed to be a Jew throughout his country. But he had no choice, since he had sworn to so the next day the illness went and put on talis and filling in public. Eventually this king died, and his son became king. He began to rule gently, seeing how his father's tyranny had nearly caused the dynasty, dynasty to be eliminated. He too conquered many countries and was extremely wise. The new king ordered a Khan Vehening or the new king ordered a convening of all astrologers to divine for him what might cause his dynasty to be wiped out so that he could be on guard. They told him that his dynasty would not be eliminated as long as he avoided bulls and rams. This was inscribed in the book of records. Before this king died, he instructed his children to conduct themselves gently as he did, as he had. But after this king died and his son became king, he began to rule with a firm hand. Like his grandfather and conquered many countries, then he had a clever idea. He decreed ye, 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 that no bull or ram be allowed in the country so that his line would not be wiped out. He then had nothing to fear and ruled with a firm hand. He also became extremely wise and came upon a clever plan to conquer the entire world without a battle. The earth is divided into seven parts. There are also seven planets, each planet shining on a different part of earth and there are seven different metals each of the seven planets shining on a specific metal so he went and gathered all of the seven different metals in order to have brought to him the golden portraits of all of all kings which hang in their palaces for the hit from this he made a statue 
of man, the habit of which was gold, its body silver and other limbs of other metals. This you will loom an image, thus embodied all seven types of metal. He stationed it on top of a high mountain, and all of the seven planets shine upon it when anyone needed any advice. Such as whether or not to get involved in a certain business deal, he would stand facing the limb of the specific metal, corresponding to the part of the world from which he was from. He would then focus on this question of whether or not to do something, and if it was, and if he was supposed to do it, then that specific limb would shine, and if not, it would darken. Oh, yeah, in this way, 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 the king conquered the entire world and amassed a huge amount of money. However, this staff of virtue was unable to function unless the king humbled the haughty and raised the lowly. So he sent orders to all generals and other ministers who held any position of authority. When they arrived, he demoted them by stripping them of their positions, even those who had been in power since the time of his great-grandfather. Then he raised the lowly, appointing them in their stead. Amongst the ministers whom the king was about to demote was the honest. The king asked him, what is your position? The honest of all, 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 all to him. My position is to be able to be a Jew in public as reward for a favor that I did your, for your grandfather. So this king stripped him of this position and he reverted to being Oh, a secret Jew. So this king stripped him of it, this position, and he reverted to being a, 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 a secret Jew. Sometime a, 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 after this, while the king was sleeping, he dreamt of a clear sky in which he saw all twelve constellations. All the constellations of the bull and the ram were laughing at him. Awakening very agitated and afraid, he ordered to have the book of records brought before him. And then he saw written that his dynasty would be eradicated by a bull and a, by a bull and a ram. He was now overcome with great terror and he told the queen. The queen and her children also became terrified, extremely distressed. He called for his dream interpreters. Each of them interpreted the dream as he understood it, but none of their, but none of their interpreters Interpretations re resonated with the king a deep and great fear overwhelmed them. Eventually a sage came to him and told him, I have a tradition from my father that the sun has 365 paths and there is a place upon which all the 365 Oh, of the path of the sun's path shine, an iron rod grows there, and anyone who has any fear can be spared from the fear if he goes to this rod. This appealed to the king, so he went with his wife and children, and all his descendants to this place with the sage. However, along this way stands the angel in charge of anger. Anger creates destructive angels, and this angel was appointed over all these destructive angels. He is asked which way to follow, for there is a path that brings a person straight to his goal, while another path is full of mud, another one full of potholes and pits, as well as of other paths. And there is one path along which there is a fire that incinerates within a radius of 19 kilometers. Uh, 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 19 kilometers 200 parsa 400 parsa 200 parsa 400 parsa the king and the sage asked him which path to follow and he told them to follow the path of fire as they were walking the sage kept looking around to see if there was fire for he had a tradition from his father that a fire burns there suddenly he saw the fire he saw kings together with Jews donning talus and filling were, were walking through the fire this was because was 
Jews lived in the countries of above these kings. So they were able to pass through woo, 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 the fire. The sage said to the king, the sage said to the king, since I have a tradition that anyone within only 90 kilometers from the fire is incinerated, I do not want to go on any further. The king thought that since he saw other kings walking the fire path, he would be able to go as well. But the sage repeated, I have this tradition from my father, so I don't want to go if you wish to go. The yeah 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 and go. So the king continued with his family. The fire overcame them and they were all incinerated and annihilated. When the sage returned home, the ministers were stunned. Had not the king avoided bulls and rams, how was it that he and his family were destroyed? The honest explained to them, it is because of me, the astrologers saw. But they did not understand what they saw. From the height of the bull is made filling, and from the wall of the ram is made sitsis for the top of Avalis. That was how the king and his family were wiped out. Kings in whose countries lay ye of Jews, who were Talis and Philin, were able to walk past the fire and up beyond it all in this king's country, though. Jews are not allowed to don Talis and Philin, therefore. The constellations of the bull and the ram, 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 ram were laughing at him. The astrologers saw but did not understand what they saw, so he and his family family were annihilated. Comments from Nussan. Why are our nations in, up, in an uproar? Crush them with an iron rod. Lest you become angry and you lose the way. First wrath will be enraged. The meaning of the story is mysterious and hidden. All this I heard, but I found some allusions to this story in the above chapter in Psalms. Let us unbind the straps, cast aside the cords, straps refers to the letter. Alluding to the Tfeyeyeyelin, and cords are threads alluding to the tzitzis, as the sages said on this verse, regarding the tzitzis and Philin. He who dwells on high will laugh. This alludes to the bull and the ram in the sky that laughed at the king. Then he will speak to them in his wrath. And they will be terrified from his anger. This alludes to the anger, terror, and fear spoken of in this story. But I have an above my king on Zion, my holy mountain. Perhaps the allusion here is to the human state statue that the king erected on the high mountain. For all things have correspondences, and the statue corresponds. Ahoy to this king of Zion, the holy mountain, where all parts of the world are represented. That is the illusion of the... Mountain uh, anointed alludes to melting and molding the statue. Ask me refers to all the advice sought in the story. Nations of Oyaz are your inheritance. And your portion to the ends of the earth alludes to the seven poor parts of the world and all the kings and nations. Serve alludes to the senses with all alludes to the twillin and rejoice and trepidation alludes to the tear in the story. Oh, the story of the king's son who made who was made of precious stones. There was once a king who had no woe children. He went and engaged in doctors so that his kingdom should not be turned over to strangers, but they did not help him. So he decreed on the Jews to pray for him to have children. The Jews inquired and searched for a tzaddik, who would pray in the faith for the king to have children. So they inquired and found a tzaddik. Oh, he found a hidden tzaddik. They told him to pray for that the king should have children. And he replied that he does not know anything. Oh, they told the king, yeah, yeah. So the king sent for him with an order, and he was brought before the king. The king began speaking to him nicely. You know very well that the Jews are in my hands to do with them as I wish. Therefore, I ask you nicely to pray that I have children. The tzaddik promised the king that within a year he would have have offspring. The tzaddik went home. And the queen gave birth to a daughter. This daughter was extremely beautiful. When she was four years old, she already knew all the wisdoms and could play musical instruments. And she knew how to speak all the languages. Kings from all countries came to see her. And there was great rejoicing for the king. Afterwards, the king wanted very much to have a son so that his kingdom would not be transferred to a strange man. So again he decreed Oh, yeah, on the Jews that they should pray for him to have a son. 
They were in Quabla Yering and searching for that Sadiq mentioned above, but they could not find him since he had already passed away. So they continued searching and they found another hidden Sadiq. They told him that he should give the king a son and he replied that he does not know anything. They told the king and the king said to him also as before, you know very well the Jews are in my hands, etc. The sage that is that Sadiq said to the king, can you do what I order? The king said, yeah, blah, blah, blah. The sage said, said to him, I need that you bring all the tablets of precious stones because each precious stone possesses a unique quality. Kings possess a book in which is written all the tithes of precious stones. The king said, I will spend half of my kingdom in order to, to have a son. So the king went and brought to him all the tithes of precious stones. The sage took them and pulverized them and took a cup of wine and poured them into it. He gave half the cup to the queen, to, to the king to drink and the other half to the queen. He told them that they would have a son who would be made completely of precious stones and he would possess all of the qualities of all of the precious stones. The Tzadik then went on the queen, gave birth to a son and the king rejoiced very greatly. The son that was born was not made of precious stones when he was four years old. He was extremely handsome and very wise in all the wisdoms and knew all the languages. King Kings traveled to see him. The precious saw the princess saw that she was not that important, and she was jealous of him. Her only consolation was that the tzaddik had said that he would be completely a precious stone. Good, that at least he was not made of precious stones. Once the prince was carving wood, and he nicked his finger, the precious the princess ran to bandage his finger. The princess ran to bandage his finger, and she saw a precious stone there, and she was intensely jealous of him. The princess made herself sick. Many doctors came but weren't able to heal her as the sorcerers were called. The princess confided to one of the sorcerers and revealed to him the truth that she had made, oh, he had made herself sick because of jealousy and asked him if he could cast a spell on someone to become a leper. The sorcerer answered yes. So the princess asked him, but what if he gets another sorcerer to neutralize the spell so that he will be healed? The sorcerer answered, if the object used to cast the spell is thrown into the water, it cannot be neutralized any longer. So she did, yeah, did, yeah, yes, and threw the object he used to cast the spell into the water. The prince became very leprous. He had leprosy all on his nose, on his face, and all over his body. The king engaged in doctors and sorcerers. But to no, but to no avail. So the king decreed upon the Jews to pray. They sought out the above Sadiq and brought him to the king. Now the Sadiq consist, consistently prayed to the blessed God regarding this prayance. Since he had promised that the prince would be made completely of precious stones. And he was not, he argued with the blessed God. Did I do this for my, well, my own honor? I did it only for your honor. And now it has not been fulfilled the way I said. The Sadiq came before the king. He prayed, but to no avail. The he, then he was informed that it was was sorcery. Now the Sadiq was above all sorcery. The Sadiq came and informed the king that it was sorcery they were dealing with and that the object used to cast the spell had been thrown into the water. So there is no remedy for the prince unless they throw the sorcerer who cast the spell into the water. The king said, I give you all the sorcerers to throw them into the water so that my son will be healed. The princess got scared. The princess got scared, so she ran to the water to pull out the object, since she knew where it was, and she fell into the water. A great tumult erupted over the princesses, falling again to the water. The Tzadik then came and said that the prince would, 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 would be healed, and he was healed, and the leprosy dried right up, and all of his skin peeled off. And he was made completely of precious stones and possessed all the qualities of all the precious stones, as the Tzavavavadik had said. Story number six, story of a humble king. There was once a king who had a wa-wa-wa-wise man. When the king said to the wise man, since there is a king who signs himself as being very mighty and a man of truth and humble, now mighty, I know that he is mighty, since his kingdom is surrounded by the sea, and on the sea stands a navy on warships. 
Oh, 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 armed with cannons, and they do not allow anyone to come close. And inwards from the sea surrounding the country, there is a large marsh of, of, of quaying sand, through which there is only one narrow path wide enough for only one person to pass. There too, two cannons are positioned, so that if someone comes and wants to attack, the cannons are fired, so that it is impossible to come up close there. But what he signs... Oh, he himself is being a man of truth and humble. This I do not know. And I want you to bring me the portrait of this king. Because the king possesses portraits of all, of, of all the kings. But the portrait of that king who signs himself in such a fashion is not to be found by any king, since he is hidden from people, since he sits under a canopy, and he is far from his own countrymen. So the wise man went, yeah, 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 yeah to that country. He came to the realization that he must discover the essence of this country. And how can he find out the essence of the country by ways of its humor, its jokes? Because when one wants to know the essence of something, one must know its humor. For there are many types of humor. There is one who intentionally means to harm his friend with his words. And when his friend is indignant, oh, he says to his friend, I am joking. As in the verse, as someone who exhausts himself, shooting arrows and says, Behold, I am joking. And so there is someone, one who intends as a joke. But even still his friend is, harm, is harmed from his words. And so there are many types of humor. Now among the, all the countries, there is a country that embodies all countries. Within that country there is a city that embodies all cities of that whole country. Which embodies all the countries. And in that city there is a house that embodies all the houses of the city. That embodies all cities of the country. That embodies all countries. There, there is a man who embodies everything in that house, etc. And there, there is a man who embodies all the houses, etc. And there, there is someone who makes all the wisecracks and humor of that country. I saw the wise man, took a lot of money with him and went there. He saw them making all types of wisecracks and jokes. He understood from the humor that the entire country was full of falsehood from beginning to end. Because he saw them making jokes about people are cheated and ripped off in business. And now someone goes to the local court, ministrate, oh yeah, and it is complete false. Falsehood, and they accept bribery there, and he goes to the Hierapolite court sand, and there as well, it is totally corrupt. Oh, the people were making care, oh, he caricatures. Oh, the people were making caricatures and parodies of all these things. The wise men understood from this jesting that the entire country is filled with falsehood and deceit, totally lacking any truthfulness. So he went, 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 and made some business deals in the country and allowed himself to be ripped off in the transactions. And he went. And uh, Bravo what the cases before the courts and they were full of falsehood and bribery. On this day he gave them bribery, the next day they didn't recognize him. So he went to a higher court, but this too was complete falsehood until he came before the Supreme Court, Senate, and also there. They all are full of falsehood and bribery until he came to the king himself. Now when he came to the king, he spoke up and said, Over whom are you king? The entire country is full of falsehood from beginning to end. There is no truthfulness in it at all. The wise man began to tell over all the falsehood of the country. When the king heard the wise man's words, he bent his ear to the curtain to listen to them. For the king was astonished that there existed someone aware of all the falsehood of the country. The royal ministers who heard the wise man's words were very angry at him. And he continued reporting all the falsehood of the country. The wise man then said, 
it would be suitable to say that, but that the king is also like them, that he also enjoys falsehood like the country. But from the yeah, 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 yes, I see that you are a man of truth, and because of this, you keep your distance from them, because you cannot bear the falsehood of that country, of the country. And he began to praise the king very, very much, and the king, yeah, 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 became because he was very humble, and in the place of his greatness, there was his humility. For that is the way of the humble, that the more they are praised, and extolled the smaller and humbler they become. So on account of the wise man's great praise, that he praised and extolled the king, the king became very humble and small, until he became literally nothing, and, he, and, he, and the king could no longer restrain himself. So he threw aside the curtain to see the one, this wise man, who is it that knows and understands all this? His face was revealed and the wise man saw it, and the wise man saw it and brought back his portrait for the king. The, path of, the paths of Zion are mournful. Zion is an aspect of the Tzayanim, representations of all the countries that all meet there ever as it is written. One, who see, one sees a man and shall erect it, see on night, see him, never vex to him. This is Alluded to in Hey Khazaki Sio in Kiryas my Adeini Yot see in the key the city of our gatherings, the acronym of which is Mitsahe Yik Jesting Laughing For that is where you're all the Tioinim gathered And whoever needed to know whether or not to do something or some business yet still would be able to know there maybe as well to rebuild it soon in our day so see and understand my man and love Look, dear reader, how far these concepts reach. Fortunate is the one who waits and reaches to know who and to grasp a little of the secrets above, above these stories, the likes of which were never heard since ancient times. And no, that all of these verses and allusions brought after some of the stories are only hints, a scant, a scant only, are only hints. A scant superficial appraisal so that it should be known that they are not what meaningless, God forbid. As we heard from the Rebbe's on a holy mouth, explicitly that he said that he reveals a few superficial hints from a, from a few verses that hint to the secrets of this story. So that, it, that it should be known that he is not saying God forbid prattle, but the true secret of the stories is beyond our comprehension. Deep, deep, who can understand it? A oh, holy story, seven of a fly inspired, and the Rebbe said, I will tell you. About my journey that I had. There once was a king who had upon him many heavy battles, and he conquered them and took many captives. In the middle of his words, that he began, oh, that he began tell, to tell the story. The rabbi interjected by saying, "Tell me that I should tell you everything, so that you should be able to understand. Tell me, you think I should tell you everything, and you will be able to understand." Ya <laughs> 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 <laughs>